Hello everyone and welcome back to the Warrior Cats Challenge here in Sims 3 and we are with Moss Leaf, our little lost cat, who is still over at her little patch of the forest where the plant sim Willow, who rescued her and saved her life, is currently stargazing somewhere. But Willow's not the star of the show, it is Moss Leaf, the adorable- look at her! Ah, oh, she's so cute! She's just doing a little bit of grooming. She's actually been able to lose those fleas that she had last time. So you guys, thank you so, so much. Moss Leaf, you have no idea, do you? Look at her. Look at her. She's just cleaning all the places that it's so rude to clean when you have company over. But Moss Leaf has no idea that you guys have been so amazing, like tremendous in your support and your ideas and all of the names you've been coming up with and your suggestions for what we should name Moss Leaf's clan when she establishes her clan. I want to reassure you guys that we do indeed have dozens of rogues and some kitty pets running around the entire town that we will be trying to greet and visit it with and hopefully become friends with and maybe even find a mate uh, in the future. Oh my gosh, that's a big old macaw. That looks like it might be able to feed her for a while, but she's headed over to scratch one of the, uh, the trees. Uh, the odd shaped trees that we happen to have over in her area. So this area is pretty much perfectly set up. I mean, look at it for a wild cat clan. It is very dark. This is Moss Leaf's first night away from Willow, just trying to establish herself once again as a wild cat. Um, she already is getting pretty hungry and thirsty. And I thought about maybe, oh no, I know it's raining on top of things. Oh, poor Moss Leaf. Here, maybe we're just gonna like try to get out of the way for a little bit. So let's come over and sleep inside of this little den and see if we can just get away from the nasty rain for a little bit. Cause I think that's what Moss Leaf would do. And we're gonna try to kind of go on the actions of what the cats would do. So Moss Leaf is getting out of the rain for a second. Great for you, Willow. You keep studying that logic. This must be good for Willow. Yeah, she's getting her water need filled up <laughs> because she's able to just like bask in in the rain. Oh, and look at little Moss Leaf. So this is her first night in her new home, in her den. And we're gonna say, oh, look at her stretch. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, who's a good kitty? But yeah, so you guys were super, super helpful, giving tons of suggestions on how we could organize the future clan, all the rival clans. Basically, I want Moss Leaf to be the cat that starts the clans and then her kittens and whatever cats come into her clan will probably end up naming the clan the moss clan after her or the um the forest clan after willow in a way because willow forest the plant sim who as far as i'm concerned is a spirit of the forest herself not like a sim or a two-legger but a spirit of the forest herself rescued her so we're just going to try to sleep through this rain at some point we're going to need to get some food like really soon or else we're going to be in a bad situation but you know i don't i don't see her trying to hunt in the rain so i think it's fine to leave her just wait out the storm but yeah we're going to be ah oh, there we go and now the rain's over so let's go ahead and wake her up look there's a little lizard oh my gosh there's food there's a little lizard let's see if we can catch him all right come on over moss leaf I know you need to like use the litter box or really the cats can like pee anywhere but I like the idea because cats are so tidy of having somewhere that she can she can use as like her private uh her private little area to leave her mess all right oh and she's hunting again oh this is exciting is this gonna be like her first successful hunt oh here we go again all right, are we gonna get the food? Ironically, the lizard was kind of hanging out in what we're gonna consider the fresh kill pile pretty soon. And I have been rereading and double checking on what the warrior codes would demand and I have good news. The good news is, oh, did we get it? Did we get it? Do we actually have it or do we just have a feather? What does she have in her mouth? Oh my gosh, is this her very first thing she's ever caught? You guys, I spy a feather. Darn, how did you get a feather? A feather of all things from trying to go on a hunt. Ah, darn. All right. Well, she did get a colorful feather. And the fun thing is, in the future, uh, if she became a medicine cat instead of the, the, like, clan leader, then those feathers could be things that the medicine cats could use that would be able to help them, um... 
she could use it and and help the cats like heal or help the cats get special abilities or maybe gain a new skill point or lose a skill point like if you curse other clan members wouldn't that be cool like if the medicine cats could actually curse like other clan members uh from other clans if they needed to so from moss leaf humble little moss leaf here who I think we're gonna, no, 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 let's let's have her go ahead and stock for some prey because she's probably getting a little bit hungry and I wanna make sure she can get something to eat because there's gonna, not gonna be, you're a wild cat mostly if there's not going to be any food bowls. But from this one little kitty cat, we are hoping to be able to start multiple clans and go down several generations. And I have been adding in cats all over the world. So we're gonna have lots and lots of rogues, lots of kitty pets that they might be able to visit with. Oh, she wants to catch a little beetle. Are you going to try to do a little bit of fishing? <gasps> look here, look here, there's an iguana. Okay, I wonder if she's going to try to catch him. All right, she's turning around. Here's a little iguana. All right, so apparently she has taste for lizards. And that's one of the fun things is just letting the cats do their own hunting. But this is going to be the humble beginnings of what I hope to be a grand amazing legacy of generations of cats with their stories that get more complex and evolve thanks to your guys comments and suggestions that's really what is driving everything just like with wolf quest the fan art the suggestions the comments another feather girl let's try fishing then can you not reach the fish over here what about fishing over here huh is that going to be a little bit better no come on there we go we can fish over here so we might need to like mark the places so we know where she'll be able to fish. All right. Oh, this is so exciting. Look at the beautiful stars. I bet Willow's enjoying looking at these two. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Moss leaf, you're in the water. Did you catch anything? Did you have any luck? I don't think she had any luck. She's not licking herself like she had any luck. Um, let's try fishing again. Because surely we need to get her some sort of food. So we're just going to have to keep working on raising her hunting skill. And hopefully she'll catch something soon. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at her go. So I guess she doesn't mind. <gasps> Did you see that? I think I saw her with a fish. Did she catch one? Did you catch it? No? Come on, keep going. She's getting some really good experience points from this though. Like, or experience from this. Oh gosh, I mean just imagine there's even if you go into the cat's hunting uh, hunting skill journals in the future we'll be able to make challenges just like we did in Wolf Quest with the cats so that say a cat has a, a dream from Star Clan so a dream from Star Clan or a mission or a personal mission from like or a, a clan challenge or a challenge within the clan for a mate like maybe maybe there's like one really handsome female cat that two males are fighting over and then it'll be whoever catches the most turtles like before the the moon falls ends up being like the mate that she'll pick and stuff like that we are gonna have so many really awesome challenges and skills there's creeping and crawling for beetles slithery stalker for reptiles feline fisher for fish homing whiskers for 20 rare, rare prey there's lots and lots of cool stuff that we're going to be able to do with our cats. Lots of challenges, lots of things that we're going to make up on our own. Come on, Moss Leaf! You need food! Oh gosh, she's having a hard time. Alright, let's have her stock for some prey. So, alright. I know now you're not getting the most comfortable, but we just need to follow her around. And see if she's able to find anything to eat at all. Oh, there we go! There's a little lizard again! It's another little iguana! So she seems to have a lot of luck with lizards. I didn't expect that. All right, they're in the bushes. They're actually deep in the bushes. We're just able to zoom in to see. Come on, Moss Leaf. Come on. You need some food. You're getting really hungry. No, not another feather. Oh boy, this is gonna get a little interesting. She got an empty chip bag. Oh no, and I've actually been thinking about making it so that if you get empty chip bags, then if you get like, 
I don't know, four or five, uh, then you get curious about what's going on in two-legger territory, and you have to go wander into two-legger territory, and then things can happen to you. Like, if you're a kitten, you might end up being taken and being made into being a kitty pet. Um, so there's all sorts of challenges, you guys, so keep your imaginations flowing. Let us know in the comments, because like I keep saying, your guys' stories and ideas are what made Wolf Quest the amazing thing that it became. Indian Roof Turtle! Come on, go for it! Go for it, Moss Leaf! There's a whole world going on around her. Come on, we can catch a turtle, Moss Leaf. I don't know how we're gonna eat it. <gasps> Yay! I think she caught it! Maybe? Perhaps? Oh, she caught the turtle! Oh my gosh! Wonderful! Um, now we're going to have to drag it over, so let's come over. <laughs> Glad to know she was able to at least catch the turtle. So let's have her go here. So we're gonna have her run over here with her new prey item, and we're gonna see if she can eat it. So she's actually improved her hunting a lot. Being hungry will do that. I don't know how eating the turtle is going to go, but we're gonna give it a go. All right, so then I think we put the turtle down, and then we eat it. All right, sorry, little guy. It's really nothing too personal. I guess you're just a little old turtle. There you go, Moss Leaf. I'm gonna, I know this is kind of morbid, whoa, but I'm gonna take a picture because it's her very first hunt all on her own away from clan territory when she's just all by herself. And it's in the middle of the night too, but hopefully it'll be enough to keep her hunger. Come on, hopefully, ah, there we go. Oh my gosh, yes. That was definitely enough to keep her hunger from overwhelming her. And now let's go ahead and scratch on this little tree. In fact, I wonder if we should set up like some boundary trees and then the like clan leader or the warriors are in charge of going around and scratching on the boundary trees so that all the other cats, other cat clans know that, hey, this is our territory. Don't mess with it. Meanwhile, Willow is uh, just over there learning all about the stars, so she can just keep working on that. Nice, keep going. You go, Willow, good luck. And Mossleaf has proven that she can feed herself, which is really important, actually. I was getting a little worried there. Oh gosh, and there's so many macaws. There's so many different things. There's chipmunks down here. There's truffles. Okay, what is this? Who's sleeping over here? This is a stray cat! There's just like a wildly generated stray cat right over here, first thing! Okay, let's come over and, and, and like, can we greet this stray cat? Is it snoozing? Can anybody greet it? Um, we could wake it up, I guess. Oh my gosh, there's already a stray cat over here. Alright, we're gonna have to send Mossleaf over here to investigate, I think. So, let's send her this way to try to catch this chipmunk. And then we'll send her over to greet the stray cat. I can't believe there's already a stray cat. In fact, I bet she would hear the nut hatch actually. So we'll send her over to this nut hatch. And there's already a stray cat over here that we could try finding. Oops, I did not mean to wake you up, Willow. You're totally good. Go back to sleep. All right. No, you were you were you were totally fine. I'm so sorry about that. Sleep. I'm glad Willow's taking care of herself so we don't have to worry about it. Must leave. Come on. There's a stray cat that we might be able to meet. But she gets a great uh, mood, actually, from being able to manicure her little claws. So she's very happy right now. And I think that actually will help her learn the non-destructive trait. But yeah, you guys, there are tons of stray or like... There's kitty pets, there's rogues. I checked and it's not against the warrior cat's code to add a rogue in. So that's something we could do in the future. All right. Let's go ahead. Look around, try to catch this little nut hatch. There's a little chipmunk. Stray cat's still snoozing. I can't believe a stray cat has already wandered up to our territory like this. I was hoping we might be able to see. I mean, there's special markings and all sorts of details on the rogue cats that I've made. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this beautiful jump. Oh my gosh. Moss leaf, look at you go. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Oh, she's gonna get it. She's gonna get the little guy. I really hope because it's important for the sake of her food All right, let's see what happens There's also that chipmunk over there and what the heck is over here a cardinal. Yeah, this area is just absolutely abundant with prey Oh, we woke up the stray cat Um. Oh, and it disappeared. I think he ran off because he knew this wasn't his territory and we caught the nut hatch Oh my goodness. Good job moss leaf. Good job. Oh man that's pretty useful, actually, and we'll come over here and try to catch the chipmunk 
And then we will have some food for the fresh kill pile. And I don't know about catching these macaws. Those guys look like they'd be a little bit of trouble. Um, and what happens if we take the nut hatch out and put it over here? It would just stay in the kill pile, I think. So I think we have to leave it over there. Um, kind of like a sign so it doesn't stay just completely fresh. All right, let's try to get this little chipmunk. Look at this truffle. Rah, let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, there's a little bug. There's so many things. You're going to do so much hunting, Mouse Leaf. But yeah, we'll let her hunt. Maybe I'll build a little bit of a pile in the fresh kill pile. And then, did we catch it? Ah, oh, she didn't catch it. But she did get, oh no, the empty chip bag. So let me know what you guys think about the empty chip bag curse. So I'm really thinking that if um, you get too many empty chip bags, then you have to go on a mission in town. So what do I mean by that? I mean like you would have to leave the safety of the forest and like your curiosity would become too much for you. And you would have to send the cat somewhere in town. And if you run into a dog, you always have to fight with the dog like every time. And if you get like too much attention like if your cat walks up to the two leggers and begs them for treats or attention or they get too much attention too many times like three or four times then i think that that's when um you might risk being picked up and like taken to the pound and adopted out as a kitty pet so there's all sorts of ways that we're going to have cats potentially either die like if they lose a fight with a dog um depending on what their their like stats are at then they might we might say that they died and then to make that happen in our game we would adopt them out to the pound and we would just say that oh the cat died or like there might be disease that comes through now and then and you guys might have to do some little random randomization you guys might actually get um like some random random here's the kitty park so i'm going to glance at this really quickly you might get those straw polls we do where you don't know what the right answer will be. You'll just be presented with like three choices, like red, blue, and green. And I know what the answers to those would be, but you don't. So you guys all pick green and it turns out that that is the one where like the kittens all survived their disease. Or if you picked red and it turns out that's the one where two of the kittens out of three died. So there'll be lots of random events like that that will happen. We might send the cats over to like the kitty area. I think... I think sometimes we might send them, um, like we have, there's a whole bunch of other cats over here. I actually merged a household over here. So that there should be like a bazillion and a half cats living in this house now. Yeah, look, is this one of the cats? Yeah, this is one of the cats. This is Branch Pelt. So this is Branch Pelt, a rogue cat. And Branch Pelt has just like some, uh, some like stripes down his back. He's one of the more boring of the cats that we have. We have a ton of cats. Like you can see there's another one in there. There's a whole bunch of them in there. And a lot of them have very, very unique markings. Um, so I went through and tried to make some of them look really, really unique. Like I think there's one called Owl Pelt uh, who looks like he has um, like stripes down his back. So there's a lot of work we did. Oh man, she did. she's getting a lot of colorful feathers. So I'm not sure if Mossleaf is going to be the leader of the clan. Um, there's another bird. Let's try catching this cardinal. Or if she's going to end up being just the, um, like the medicine cat and elect a different cat to become leader. Because part of it is going to be seeing which cats she befriends, how they get along, uh, which cats wander by or stop by. Oh my gosh, that's a snake. Oh my goodness, look at the little snake. Oh, that's so cool. But yeah, it's going to depend on which cats wander by. And we might even do some straw polls where you guys pick which cat might take up what position. Or if like a, a lifelong rivalry develops between a couple cats who don't get along. And they branch off when we start playing them too. To allow them to have... Did we get it? Oh, I think we got the cardinal. Yes. All right. Let's try to catch the snake because I think that would be really cool. And then we would have two rival clans. So slowly but steadily, we are going to get to the point where there's going to be challenges. There's going to be all sorts of rivalries. There'll be rivalries between the animals. There'll be rivalries between the clans. There'll be missions that the medicine cats have. There'll be missions that the star leaders will have. So the leaders of the clans will have. There'll be clan missions. There'll be missions for the apprentices. apprentices. Uh, it'll be really fun. Okay. All right. I want to get a good look at her as she tries to catch this snake. Because this is some sneak action going on here. Is she going to get it? I don't know about this, you guys. This is a pretty big snake. And, alright. 
Go for it, Moss Leaf. I'm so glad she's doing so well so far. Flower kisses him. Oh, gosh. I'm so glad she's doing so well so far. Because we do have, after this, at least a cardinal and one other bird to eat. Did we catch it? <gasps> I think she caught it! Yeah! All right. So she managed to find the San Francisco garter snake. And there's plenty of food here. And you guys mentioned how in the Warrior Cat series, like everything, the way a branch is turned has a name. The, a particular stump has a name. And we will be doing that as well. Let's go ahead and line up our bird kills and our little snake kill there. And I think we'll let her just go ahead and nap wherever Moss Leaf wants to nap now. So we'll be naming specific trees. We'll be figuring out where meeting places are going to be. We will be like naming specific areas. The lore is really going to depend on what you guys can see and help inspire and come up with. And oh my gosh, there's another big bird. There's a lot of big parrots. I think they're attracted here by Willow. So yeah, there's going to be so much lore, so much story that you guys really help to bring to life. So I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you guys. All right, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.